Nobody has made more waves in the name, image, likeness waters than Miami businessman John Ruiz. Billionaire John Ruiz is giving millions to UM players. This deals for players sometimes worth well into six figures. What have you found works with NIL? You have really good boosters. That's how you do well at it. Anybody can read a lot into whatever you do. As long as you do it the right way, there's nothing wrong with it. And by and three, two, and even as an athlete, I suffer from asthma. So for just over a year, collegiate athletes have been able to profit from their fame. It's great to know that Life Wallet gives you that extra layer of protection. In that time, Ruiz has signed more than 115 athletes to NIL contracts, totaling roughly seven million dollars. More than 100 of them to his beloved Miami Hurricanes, like freshman swimmer J.C. Hinton. I think athletes are really wanting to come to the U a lot more just because they see the NIL opportunities. Before you start Four, the commercial, three. what you should do is tell the other guy, you know, I'm not feeling that well today. Like that's, that's I have a problem with people calling me a booster because I'm not a booster if I'm promoting my business. You're a booster if all you're doing is promoting the university or promoting its athletics. I'm promoting my business while at the same time getting deals with these players as it pertains to the na name, image, and likeness. Ruiz graduated from Miami in 1987 and sent his three kids to the school, including son Johnny, a former middle infielder for the Hurricanes. Debido a fraude, violaciones de tila, les habla el abogado John H. Ruiz. John Ruiz made a name for himself in South Florida as an attorney catering to the Latino community. Good morning, my name is John H. Ruiz and I'm the CEO of MSP Recovery. But he turned his millions into billions when his biggest business venture, MSP Recovery, went public in May of this year. The bulk of the NIL deals Ruiz strikes with Miami athletes are through his company Life Wallet, an app created in 2014 to organize users' medical records. Another interesting development this week. Ah, he Kansas State transfer Nigel Peck announced a transfer to Miami, and he's going to get some real money. When Ruiz announced in April on social media an NIL deal with highly touted transfer guard Nigel Pack worth an eye-popping $800,000 and a new car, Ruiz staked his claim as the NIL king. Why be so public about the terms of the deal? It was strategic, completely strategic. But the very reason why people are asking why did you do it is the very reason why it was so successful. Right now, we're over 6 million views on the, just that one tweet alone. Hi, I'm Nigel Pack. And when I decided to come to Miami, I knew I had to pack, including my Life Wallet. What impact, if any, did the deal with Life Wallet play into your decision to transfer to the University of Miami? Yeah, it didn't have any impact at all. I mean, obviously, I didn't know anything about the deal until after. You know, there's a lot of other decisions that came into me choosing Miami, like my teammates that I was going to be playing with, like the ACC conference. There's a bunch of other things that I really cared about more than uh, an NIL deal, so. The NIL deal with PAC got the attention of just about everyone associated with college athletics, including a certain coach in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I mean, these guys at Miami that are going to play basketball there for $400,000, it's in the newspaper. The guy tells you how he's doing it. So, um, but the NCAA can't enforce their rules because it's not against the law. And that's an issue, that's a problem. I don't think, like, people that attack me, that's why I'm so uh, involved in responding, because I have nothing to hide. Did you feel Coach Saban was disrespectful? I think that's very disrespectful, because he doesn't know what goes on. He doesn't know what our deals are like. He's never read my contract, and we're very strict about our contracts. If we, we send out letters, hey, you're not complying with your contract, and if you don't comply with your contract, your deal's over. It was inevitable that boosters would find a way to put money in the hands of the athletes that they wanted to come to their schools. Professor Gabe Feldman is the director of the sports law program at Tulane University. The NCAA's enforcement has been non-existent. You can fill in your favorite analogy, this is 
drivers driving 100 miles an hour knowing that there are no cops on the highway. It's very difficult to prove if an NIL payment is a legitimate deal that is designed to reward the athlete for the value of their NIL that gives some benefit to the third party versus it's not about NIL at all. It's only about giving money to this athlete so they will attend the school. In June, the NCAA launched an inquiry into Ruiz's NIL deals with Miami athletes. The University of Miami declined our interview request for the athletic director, football coach, and men's basketball coach. Nobody from the school has ever come to you and said, John, we really want that player. 100%. I don't, I don't speak to anybody at the school with the exception of the uh, compliance department. You never once offered someone a deal before they committed to Miami? No, what happens is this. So first of all, 95% of our players are already at the school when we give them a deal. The other players have learned about Life Wallet, So I get contacted by lawyers and agents. Those kids need to you pick whichever school they're gonna go to. It's not just UM, because I do stuff with FIU, I do things with NC State. So we give you know deals with kids all over the country. There's no place in the United States of America that will have a better NIDL program than we will. What do you say to people who are uncomfortable with the idea that one wealthy businessman can alter the fortunes of an athletic department? I don't think it's fair to say that one wealthy individual is changing a program. I think what is fair to say is that one individual that happens to be in Miami, that happened to go to the University of Miami, that loves the University of Miami and their athletics, has come up with a strategy Let's do it. that's legal, that's transparent, that gives back to the schools, to the students, to academics, to life. That, I think, is very positive. It's all about that? Yeah.